going to just be something simple um as i've stated in some videos before like i'm getting back on my whole health kick and worrying about my skin and all of that good stuff speaking of okay so i'm gonna adjust that light so um i'm just gonna show you guys a couple of the things that I use in my basic skincare routine. So this is my basic skin skincare routine that I do every single day, twice a day. I don't like to do it more than twice a day. I do it in the morning and the afternoon because my face gets super, super, super dry. And I don't want to pull all of the, you know, natural stuff out of my face. So, I only do it twice a day. You can do it as much as you want to or whatever. So, first, I'm going to go through the products that I use as I use them. So, I'm not going to, like, show all the products first. I'm just going to use them and explain them as I use each product. And then, um, I'll drop all the descriptions, all the links, I'm sorry, for everything that I'm using today in the description box. So if you want to know what I use, just look at the description box below. And yeah, so it don't look like I'm looking at the camera, but whatever. So um, the first thing I use, well, the first two products I use, of course, is <clears throat> my cleanse, my facial cleanser. And I also have a vibrating uh, facial brush slash massage brush. All right. So, um... Before I get into what cleanser I use, I just want to put a disclaimer out. So when you use products on your body, period, they should not lather, right? Because when they lather, that is basically a sign that there is chemicals in there and things in it that will, you know, be left in your skin that is not good for your skin. So when it comes to facial cleanser, it should not lather and it should be milky almost, like... A milky creamy consistency I'll show you what it looks like so I use um back when I was in middle school or high school I went to a dermatologist and he like prescribed this to me because I have combination skin so let me put that out there too I have combination skin so my skin can get super super oily and then it has dry spots so yeah so this is good for um all skin types it's CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser okay and i've also learned not to to use my hands as least as possible as i can so you may not even see me touch my face until maybe later on after i've washed it and everything like i try not to even touch my face because look at my hands like i'm touching all over the stuff and right before i wash my face i wash my hands anyway so i'm trying to you know get some good habits going to to reduce some of the you know uh cross contamination of touching stuff into my face so that's the cleanser again um and then my brush i got this off amazon they come in different colors my case is a little beat up because i put it right back in here after i use it so it's a little water damaged but um it's the ultrasonic facial cleanser and i have this color right here and it comes in different colors this is on amazon i don't think i paid any more than like 15 dollars for this i don't think i paid more than that but i'll put that link below and i'll also put the link for this i got this you can find this anywhere cvs target walmart um anywhere your local drugstore they sell this, I'm very sure. If not, it's also on Amazon, and I'll put that link below. Um, So, what's really cool about this brush is this side is the scrubbing side. So, I don't know if you can kind of... just trying to see if I can show you. Probably not. How the bristles look. They're a little bit more... They're smaller. They're a little closer together, a little bit more fine. And then this is the massage side. You can see how different that looks. These are super small and these are way bigger. And also the bristles are longer on this side. This is the massage brush. Massage 
brush side. I don't know what I was just trying to say. So, what I do is first I'm going to wash my hands. Oops. I'm going to wash my hands. And then, I doubt that I even edit this video. I'll probably just post it as it is. I don't care. Okay, so after I wash my hands, then I take my brush and wet it. So I'm gonna show you guys the consistency of this stuff here. It looks kind of like you can't really see it because of the light glare. There you go. So yeah, it's kind of like it looks kind of like a milky gel type consistency. I don't know. So turn it on, and it just vibrates. And I do circular motions. So it may not look like I'm getting any product on my face, but I am. So after I go around my face once, I put a couple more drops. So. And then I have a clean wash rag. I usually use um, white or lighter color wash rag so I can make sure I'm getting all the dirt and stuff off my face. So I use this white wash rag and some warm water. super clean it's not spotless obviously but it's clean I can tell it's clean it feels clean it doesn't feel like this any residue which is why I love this stuff because there's no residue it's hydrating um, my face doesn't feel dry or you know All right, so now I'm going to, I made some um, fresh aloe vera gel, okay? Now this is probably the only part where I use my hands, so I'm gonna wash them. <clears throat> so I just went to, um, I got mine from Wegmans, but you can find aloe vera, the actual plants, not the gel that they make and you buy it pre-packaged. But the actual plant, um, they have them, I think at any of your local grocery stores or um, like a, um, what they call it? An international market or something like that, they should have it. All right, so if you've never seen aloe vera gel, I added a little bit of lemon in it to preserve it and I keep it in the refrigerator. It usually lasts 10 days in the refrigerator, but you can make it last longer in the freezer, of course. So I put a little bit of lemon in it and it's just super, you know, sticky. Ever seen aloe, you know what it look like. All right, so I'll take a little bit of this on my hands. 
Okay. And dark spots but aloe alone is really good for um dark spots and uh hydrating the face um keeping it clean all that other good stuff there's a whole bunch of ben benefits of aloe i do a video on that but i'm not getting into that right now so then i get the massage side so this regular washing side is the side with the on um this is the on button this changes the vibration so i keep it on this one so i'm gonna turn it to the massage side and rub the aloe all the way in my face and i love this brush because it doesn't um it isn't just like a good washing brush or scrubbing brush it's also good for massaging product into the face. So the only non-vegan product that I'm using is the actual, oh, well, it's actually two. It's this, and then it's also, um, well, I'll show you the other one later, but there's only two non-vegan products that I use. And if you have any recommendations of a good vegan face wash that is milky and hydrating um please send it to me because i'm interested i'm working on some you know facial things and and beauty uh products as we speak so if you have recipes or anything like that i'll try it all all right so you can tell that it's kind of rubbed in when it starts to get not tacky but a little um it drags a little bit more across the face it's not as slippery and smooth as it would at first all right so i'm just gonna get under my eyes because i'll be having um puffy eyes i'm not sleeping so this is good for getting, you know, some circulation in your face and uh, massaging your products into your face, all that good stuff. All right. This usually doesn't take me this long. It's because I'm, like, talking to y'all and trying to remember what I do for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so the next two items. This goes back in the case for now. This is going to come back out, but for now I'm done with that. So the next two things that I'm going to use is um, this vitamin C, E, and high, high alert, high, a word with an H, acid, okay? You can read it for yourself. I don't know the word, okay? It's hard. I don't know it. Focus, thing. Focus. Oh, yes. Okay, whatever. I'll put the link in the description. But pretty much, this is basically, um, let's, oh, I forgot it, don't say what it does on this. Pretty much, it helps with blemishes, dark spots, um, hydrating your skin. It's a whole bunch of other benefits of this particular serum. This company, True Skin, has a couple different serums. Um, this is the vitamin C serum but they have a couple other ones. They're all facial, professional facial serums. So let's say you would go to, you know, the spa to get a treatment. This would be some of the same products that they would use on your face. So it comes with a cute little dropper. Okay, I actually need to get some more. This was a 32 ounce, I believe. No, this was a two, two, uh, two ounces. If I got 32 from, I don't know. Two fluid ounces. I did FL for fluid, whatever. All right, so I'm using that. And I also have this Lie Care, L E I Care. Um, it's a jade facial roller. I'll show you guys what it looks like. This pretty little thing here. It's a jade, aka, um, why well, can't remember anything today? Rose quartz. 
Okay. It's a roller. Um, this helps with stimulation of the blood in the face and also massaging products in the face. So I use it with this one because, you know, um, this product needs to be evenly distributed to the face, but not in a, as harsh of a way as the aloe. So I use a roller to kind of help. So I'll just do two drops on four parts. Oop, on my face. So another one right there. So obviously my titties want to get right too. And then I just roll this in. And this is really good for getting the corners of I mean, the creases and crevices of your face as well. Um, if you have any like cuts on your face or um, bruising or like burns or whatever, it may sting a little bit because of the products in it. But other than that, um, this stuff is amazing. I've been using this every day for about a month now. I still have a lot of product left. Uh, as you can see, it's about right there. So, um, yeah. Also, with this roller, I go with my eyes too. Um, it comes with the double side. So, I use this side mainly when I'm trying to distribute the product. And then I go in with this, especially under my eyes. It does... Um, it is cold. It's room temperature, but because it's stone, I guess it's cold. And the cool temperature of the roller actually helps with the blood circulation and all that too. So I just make sure I roll it in extra nice and good, especially in the dark spot places. I roll it in a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to show y'all the case that how it comes. The inside of it looks like this. Don't mind me, it's a little dirty under there from this lipstick, but mind your business. But they come in this little cute little, you know, box. And I keep it in this because I don't want no cooties on it. And I'm trying to keep my face clean, you know. All right, so the last step, and then I'm done, is I made some homemade um, facial oil. This could also be used on the body, but the ingredients I put in here are specific, uh, specifically directed to benefiting the face. Um, it can help other things, but it's, you know, for the face. So in here, um, the base is sunflower seed oil. Look up some flaxseed oil. I cook with it. I use it on my skin. It's, it has so many bomb benefits, okay? Uh, also, I have eucalyptus uh, essential oil, tea tree oil, geranium oil, um, what else? Lavender, and just one more. I can't remember. But that's all in here. And then I put a little piece. I had, um, if you've seen natural aloe, it comes in like, like the little pieces be like gel little clumps. So I put one of them in here and just shook it up so it can have some of the, uh, you can see that, the aloe stuff in it. So what I did with this, I want to bring our brush back out because we're going to massage this oil in my face. So I just take a couple squirts. You only need. I only used three. Ooh, three. That was more than I wanted to. Yeah. Get this on my eye. Foam on my eye. I take the massage side and go right back over those places. The oil. And I really massage this in because the tea tree oil is really good for, you know, the bumps that I have. I have a couple breakouts and just getting off of my cycle. So I'm getting rid of these monthly breakouts. 
as well as um the eucalyptus and the geranium all of those benefits geranium is really good for helping to rebuild the skin and different things like that so just a little circular motion all over getting my crevices in my nose because my nose like this part of my nose is super dry like ugly dry all right so i think we're about good go with my whole face one more time So, now to wash this off, I just use a little bit of the facial cleaner because I don't want to wash this off with regular soap. It just makes no sense. So, I just get a little bit of facial cleaner on each side and give it a little rinse. Alright. And that's that. Okay, if you can see, I am dealing with getting these black spots to go away, okay? Um, like I said, I got a couple pimples from my period that I'm trying to get to go away as well. Um, a friend of mine is sending me a turmeric, homemade turmeric mask, uh, as well as something else, I believe. So, I'm going to do a five-day challenge with that mask just to see what type of benefits i can get out of five days and then i'm going to do a review on that um also if you guys have any natural tips for dark spots um to quickly get rid of dark spots and for hyperpigmentation and all that stuff please let me know um lemon and aloe is also good for hyperpigmentation and clearing up and fading dark spots so if you have any information on that let me know um a couple things that i've learned in regards to just facial care your hands are so freaking dirty and i'm the type of person that is always like this or like this or like this i'm always touching my face and i've literally had to program in my head to like not touch my face and like i had people around me telling me like reminding me like don't touch your face don't touch your face so they used to always touch my face and if you realize like the more um the majority of my breakouts are actually in places that like i hold my hand and rest my hand on my actual face so um to fix that of course like i don't have to have to stop touching my face which i've done what else has helped me mm. uh the facial cleanser brush has helped brush why did i say it like that brush has helped out a lot like a lot like it's amazing it's one of the best products i've ever purchased that as well as the uh jade roller um those two products alone i can tell the difference when i use them versus when i was using a lot of these same products without the vibrating brush and without the jade roller um aloe vera can also be used in your hair you can also do face masks with it you just put it all on like a regular face mask and let it get dry and then wash it off um what else sea moss sea moss is a good face mask too uh natural sea moss sea moss gel uh it's a good face mask you just put that on wait a couple usually 15 minutes it's normal 10 to 15 is normal face mask uh time put that on um it crusts up it gets really tight sea moss makes your face super tight when it gets crusty like super tight but when you wash off your face, it feels so amazing. I'm actually going to order some more. And I might do a tutorial with that to show you guys how to use the CMOS as the face mask. As well as incorporating it into other products. Um. So, yeah. That's it. Thank you guys for, for watching. Make sure you like, share, 
subscribe and tune in click that notification bell after you subscribe so that you know every single time i post a bomb video okay um and yeah okay love y'all love yourself and do something today to make somebody else smile how about that do that let's end the video off like that